He was the, he was the when, lingerie player. Yeah. Wait, was Armlet? No, he discovered that Armlet. He discovered thing. the Armlet. Yeah, yeah, Armlet bug was him. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, he it was Bulba. A lot of, Had to like, be Bulba. Bulba. Well, Bulba no, invented lingerie. Right. So therefore, and invented the bug and, and left it there for AI to discover. Okay. I'm gonna say, man, a AI is actually one of my favorite carry players because I think he played carry a Ten lot better than remaining. most other carries. Didn't he? Like, was I thought you were going to say Eternal Envy there for one moment. I think that's what he meant. No, I'm not gonna go there. I, I think Envy just to pick. itemizes Whoa, oddly. Easy, Tiger. That's the only thing. Will you just sit down? Will no, he plays Dota like he, like if it was a robotic game, right? If no mistakes were made. Right. But sadly, he makes mistakes. I thought you were going to say something like he likes his daughter, like he likes his coffee, or some weird analogy like that. Mm. Okay. I'll work on that. Does Navi yeah. pick Spectre? We've seen it before. That the Spectre doesn't really have that much lane presence. Ten like in this seconds. Yeah, I think drive. if they if they punish, or excuse me, if they pick the Spectre, they would get punished pretty hard. Five seconds we can assume uh, right now that Wraith King could be played as a support bang. or as a carry. This. Yeah. But I think they're waiting it out because, okay, picking Wraith King in the early stages of the game isn't indicative of what your lanes are going to be, which is really important because a lot of things that maybe like captains of other teams, like tier two, Ten tier three teams, etc., don't get is like lane ambiguity during the beginning of the game is so important because Five if you get like two remaining. really bad wraps in your lanes and then all of a sudden you're just like, now oh crap, well we had a mid game strategy, ban. but both of our lanes lost super hard and our mid game sucks. So it's just whenever you can pick heroes that can do anything. Like Invoker can safe lane, Invoker can mid, Wraith King can support, can carry, Marana and Darkseer are pretty much the exact same thing. The are only you... thing I would say for Cloud9 is Ten that they have remaining. a CM and a Sand King, double supports who can very easily Five abuse the jungle. Yes. So if I'm Navi, I want to keep that in mind because these supports can get a lot Reserve out of the jungle. Time. Like Sand King, or excuse me, Crystal Maiden only needs one camp and Sand King can just stack the other ones. Is that like, if you're Navi, say, okay, we have two offensive, it could be, but we haven't seen what the last pick is um, from um, Cloud9. I'll rephrase. If you were Navi, would you consider you have the choice of pick? Would you pick something to go offensive, or would you be like, ah, no, we can't? No, I, yeah, to answer your question, I think they already have something that could go offensive. Rave King plus AA, depending on what your secondary support or carry, you I definitely can go you aggressive. Need a range show, like Weaver or something, that could right. be pretty good. I mean, the other side of that is, if they don't want to go offensive, Clockwork is one of those heroes that demand at least one support to be guarding the lane. Like, you can't just go double jungle support, because Clockwork's going to get, like, quick level 5, and he's going to walk in the jungle, and he'll Radiant get a kill on CM. Pick. So I feel like either way, Navi's going to have either a powerful trial lane if they want it, or a very, very strong, like, off laner to deal with these kind of strategy. It's interesting that Cloud9 banned the Rubik last. They're kind of assuming this Skeleton King is going to be a carry. Yeah, they would yeah. ban Dazzle as well. Yeah. So even before that, they thought that it was going to be a carry Wraith King. So, which is a little bit interesting. I mean, it could very well be. Yeah, but it doesn't Ten necessarily mean to be one. Remaining. And also, Rubik has like a ton of really good spells to steal in this game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Five Are you playing Kuroki? Maybe just the back ban. PA? It's going to be PA. Oh no! no. Please no! Oh, no. Dear no. Lord. Envy's been playing this on stream for days. How's he doing? Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been great. Okay, the hero's so just not that good. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. It's pretty good. Looking at Navi, we're assuming what? X Sword Invoker, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. We can safely assume that. Wraith King, uh, we'll see if it's played as a one here in just a second, but you're going to have Chilling Ten Touch. Seconds remaining. And then you're going to have Clockwork. But allegedly, PA is not that bad against Five Clockwork because you can just remaining. blink out of the cogs. Mm hmm. So. What about uh, Shadow Shaman? I think Shadow Shaman is... I, well, here's well as aggressive hero, you don't want to do no, that. No, 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 not aggressive. You mean totally. go greedy. Yeah. I, I think that any carry against Navi's lineup has to go, has to go BKB. Mm, more or less. You unless you have a way... But the, the main reason I think you say that, though, is because of COGS. Like, COGS is why I would say you absolutely need a BKB, yeah. but PA doesn't have to Ten make a BKB because of COGS. Because she can blink. Well, she might I have mean, to make one because of Chain Stun. If, if it was a Quas Wax Invoker, oh, oh, here we go again. As well. Actually, like, this is a great carry against PA. I mean, PA blinks oh, in. Oh, wow, yeah. You he like just stone case. Where are you at? That last time we saw that, it didn't go so great. It didn't go so great. Well, no. that's because I don't think Navi had the laning to go for it. Like, they lost they, they, all they, of their lanes, right? They dropped him in the safe lane, kind of like they did in game 5 versus no, Alliance. No, they no. went offensive. Oh, no, they went offensive. offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't the best laning. Now,
Oh, the question is, is Envy going mid with this? Or are we going to see That's AI going mid? That's on the stream, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I think against a Clockwork, you... Hmm. See, I don't think you could beat a Dendi Exhort Invoker mid with... No. Probably not. What if they did dual lanes? Ten seconds remaining. Dun, dun, dun. Sanking... Sanking Five Lorana? Seconds remaining. Okay. Yeah, uh, Sanking CM... Lorana, CM, PA. Because I think the CMPA could super easily kill Invoker, and even if the AA comes to that lane, they could just kill the AA. Prepare okay, so for battle. another option is PA goes solo mid, CM jungle to like three. PA is definitely going mid. Yeah, he's definitely going mid. This is mid build. Get PMS, and then uh, pull get two proof. tangles. And the first item you actually buy is another set of tangles. You get dagger at one, blur at two, dagger at three, blink at four. That's this build, but uh, we'll see. So you're saying it hasn't gone well in the pub games? Well, maybe he's expecting more from his supports, and you know, pub supports are not exactly. Then he's using a really nice set. Well, you don't play pub games to win; you play to practice, right? Yeah. Like that's why people play the same hero over and over and over and over again. Where do you get that? Then he prefers a white hat. I'm more of a purple man myself. You know what a white hat means in terms of like computer forensics, right? No. A white hat is a guy that actually tries to find exploits, to and, but battle. not with the intent of doing damage, but rather like to bring them to the light so that people can be prepared. Okay. As opposed to a black hat, which Do tries for to exploit. Yeah. They sent a Vos mid. Okay. So if you're a white hat kind of person, interesting. you're actually doing good. So it uh, looks like Dandy. Yeah, this makes more sense in preparation of that gank that uh, yes, the hat Andy talked about. Makes more sense. No, the, the, the deuce at mid makes more sense. Because once you turn on the, your mana shield, the even if you have one begins. point, you should have enough to at least walk back to your tower. Yeah, but at case. the same time, Envy is going to do way better against a Medusa lane than he would do against Sure, Dendi. that's definitely the case. It's just like making sure both of your heroes are farmed versus, you know, one of your heroes is better farm and Envy's getting less farm. Trade-offs, I guess. Yeah, that's a trade. But I think Cloud9 are still going to be happy with that because I think Navi supports kind of half the gank. Oh, they're dual aiming mid. All right, suddenly yeah. everything changes. You, yep. internal Envy not so hard. I mean, they could just do this as well and just be like, yep. We're going to have to rotate one of our supports, and by doing this, they either sacrifice Envy's farm and continue to have both supports farm the woods. They send one of the supports is farming the woods to mid, and then that support doesn't get as much farm as normal. So it's kind of like leveling the playing field, more or less. Mm -hmm. Seems like... Uh... But I think Hopes will be much happier with this start than he was in the last time we saw him play Medusa. Oh yeah. That was, that was rough. Wasn't the drone through the wolves. Bone Seven is uh, trading hits against Kuroki up on the top lane here. He's got Iron Shell, so he doesn't really care. At this point, Dendi can't really help to force a kill. I get, you know, there's always Sun Strike, but you rather want Cold Snap in situations like these. Yeah, and good luck creep cutting against that combo. I mean, at low level you can, but at like three or four, you're gonna have a really bad time if you do that. Do you just get one in each? One level Exhort, one level Quas, and of course... Mm, I don't think he'll get Wex early. If he no, does, no. it's going to be like the standard, like, level 10. No, I mean like one level Quas, one level Exhort, Sunstrike, Quas, no. You don't max out Exhort. Oh, oh, you mean like it all, or yeah, both yeah. of your spells are level 3. Um, I think no. you could. I think in some way, though, having max Exhort's just better. Like, For last more secure hitting. last hitting. He can get regen pulled to him if he really needs it. He's so slow, Invoker. 280 movement speed. Yeah. He's a wizard, man. He's... You don't have to run when you're important. Yeah, it's true. What do you guys feel about this offlane situation for uh, our Clockwork player? He's essentially solo 1v1 against a Mirana, because they are going very, very greedy. Like, Sanking's just pulling and jungling, CM is definitely pulling and jungling. Double but damage. he's at the same time not getting full experience, because he's really afraid of the Sanking. I feel like Cloud9 is just getting away with something that's extremely, extremely greedy. <clears throat> well, they're farming one core and two supports, and Navi are farming two cores. So it's still a trade. Like, sure, there's three people getting farm in exchange for two on the side oh, of Envy's Navi. getting a lot of farm as well. Look at mid lane. Ain't one against a dual lane, dual range lane. Like, I, I consider that getting farmed. Yeah, I mean, he can just throw daggers, so it's no big deal. Oh, Bone 7 could be in some trouble here. Dendi throwing out the cold snap. Bone 7 still has a surge. Oh. And no, they're, they're just waiting, waiting it out. Yeah. No, they're going to go for the double ion shell. They just want to go for a kill on Dendi. Sunstrike's going to be used, and that's going to be the first flood. Yep. Dendi picks it up. That was a good, like, in the pinch call, though, by Bone 7. Because, like, if you surge, 
You're dead anyway, yeah. because he hasn't used the stun yet. So if you go for the double shell and you just try to go on for a kill, I think that's the best choice he could have made. Meanwhile, though, they got a kill on the bottom lane. Pilot that picked up the experience and the kill for that one. I think it's actually a bigger kill. Yeah, sure, first blood was taken up top, but uh, the supports here getting killed and the experience, uh, and the fact that you have Crystal Maiden jungling is really edging out. Crystal Maiden, by the way, smoke of the sea picked up. Where do you think he's going to go? Item-wise? No, item -wise. What, which lane do you think he's going to go oh, back I think, into? Um, I think going bottom is probably the safest bet for a kill. But... Nice cog. Nope, oh, Burrow Strike. Is there going to be arrow fall? -up? Arrow's Flyer. It's going to hit. The cogs are going to disappear. There's a level 2 Star Storm. Yeah, that's going to be a kill. Oh. So, yes. No without shield proc. How unlucky. Okay. He got that might open south. Topped up on 7. Going to be in some trouble. What is... Uh, on 7? Oh, was he lagging? Uh, puppy oh, or puppy boss. Or oh, boss. they're like Okay. So, I think in, in a lane like this, the off have to do is play safe, right? I mean, is there any reason that he should be diving? He might have been lagging, him, maybe. I don't, yeah, I mean, yeah, he could have been lagging. That's yeah. a very good point. But um, under normal circumstances, like, dying against Cold Snap in general is considered pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you well, don't. Claw9 is asking for a four minute remake. I mean, Diva, if the server America. is that bad for both teams, I don't see why not. But yeah. we have to let the game go because it's not actually only cool load, no remake. Okay. I think that's a fair. If like, both team wants it, yeah. Fair thing to say. Yeah, yeah. Like if it's lagging that bad and they want to try a different server and they both teams agree, why not? Well, but we have to go back in game for like 10 seconds so they can get to four minutes because otherwise we won't be able to load from the same. What will happen? Don't nobody die, please. In 10 seconds, and we're done. It's like, oh, that's it. Game over. I think they're playing. Yeah, they're playing. I think one of the admins said, like, try to play it. If it's not playable, then yeah. we'll do the load thing. Yeah, so he said, Vlad, like, bailed. <laughs> he literally so instantly bailed. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not great. Welp. Rip Russia. I don't think he's going to be happy with that. No. I mean, he should not bail. But nobody bailed. Hopefully he didn't click the actual, you know, disconnect button. No, he... I think he did. No, you can still, you can alt F4 and come back in. But if you clicked it, it'll say the same thing. Well, here's hoping he gets back in. Because otherwise he's going to be sad. So looking at the overall net worths, um, I'm kind of inclined to agree with uh, Lumi that this middle lane is still going like very well. Yeah. Like Envy is not really being pressured too much. He's got roughly the same oh. like, net worth as Havos. It's really impressive actually. Well, if you think about it, you can just throw daggers. It's 150 damage to a creep pure damage. It's very hard to deny that. Even with two heroes, it's hard to deny that, you know? Yes. He's actually spending his dagger on Havolz now. I'm not I sure think exactly that was more of like a, a fuck you dagger. That's second in a row, man. It's like, yeah, third one, hey. Yeah, he's really pissed. I mean, he, he has to spend his mana somehow, he's right? He's got supports got a nearby. He can deal even a little bit of damage. He's like poking Havolz. By the way, Havolz build. Yeah, I know. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's gonna come in. There's a cross fight. He's Where is the crit? There's one crit for Earl Look at how tanky he actually is. Where's the TP? Tower. We're gonna see another dagger. TPs? He's dropping low. There's none. There's no oh. TPs. How does not a single person TP to that? I don't know. Like Phonic didn't have a TP. No one, Kuro didn't no have a TP. A TP. Uh, it took him like 15 seconds to die. He was probably just like right, maybe 10. Well, like seven, five. No, it, it was a long time. It was okay. a long time. Either way, I think they should not have gotten that kill. On seven, speaking of. Okay. Oh yeah. That double damage. It this new um, like chat thing is actually kind of confusing. This thing. How is it confusing? Because it makes it look like they got kills, to me. Well, it's just because you're used to the way that it shows kills in game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you were, if it had been there the whole time, you wouldn't notice the difference. Yeah, but. Change makes people scared, Shane. You know, what about that? They see change and they're like, oh, this is terrible. And then like two months later, they're like, they, no, they it was actually it. really good. Forget about it. All things fall. Don't even remember. Fall. That's like every time when a patch lock came out. This patch lock sucks. No, I think the last couple of patches, people have been like overly excited about it. Yeah. You know? At it's, the beginning, you mean when it came out? I mean, let's be honest. They stole ideas from our patch notes, so. That's true. That's how you know it's good. Six of them. <laughs> Counted. Counted. I've always built this hilarious, by the way. The thing is, the poor guy gets left out to dry every game. Yeah. It's like, the last time he played Medusa, he goes bottom as Dire. This game, he gets dove for like 
40 minutes. Yeah, like an hour. And the team's just like, ah, it's fine. I mean, like if you're Puppy, you know, you know this, like, you know, he's getting the hardest row. Like, just have confidence in the holes, man. I think the only one that could have saved him was Croaky. Like, literally. No, no, any person just flashed a TP, Cloud9 no. would have said, no, we're gonna not get him killed. Well, what is Puppy gonna do if he TPs in? Like, the, we can we, drop the it, Ice Vortex. Just the sight of the TP. Honestly, an Ice Vortex might have saved him. Yes. The dagger would have killed him. Anything would have. No, but I mean, like, if he TP right away, yeah, and maybe. like Vortex while he was being chased, then the other heroes maybe wouldn't have been able to get as many autos off. I don't know, man. I'm just like, I feel bad yeah, for him. Yeah, I understand. It's like... Give it a lot of break. Oh, lane, we're gonna see a Burrow Strike attempt. It's gonna hit. We're gonna see a leap arrow. Look, this is Sing Sing to me. Right? Yep, that's Sing Sing right there. Does he go Midas? Dyer's they have been playing 1v1 on Midas. Well, Aoi, I think, does. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's like Aoi likes money a little bit more than Sing. <laughs> no, I, I think he's gonna go drums and stuff. Well, with, I don't know. He can taste the Midas, I think. Three more gold. Clicking it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Get out of there, get out of there, Pylai Dyer. Pylai's up. Oh, but this is a Regu, so I've ever seen one. Oh, that's right. Not one pilot that's. Oh, oh they tied it together. Oh, you beast. Oh, Ow, he's gonna hit it. Oh, no, he has haste. He leaves it, but it's not fast enough. And now he's going the other way. Wow. And you were flaming me for saying Ice Vortex. And no, Dyer's Ice Vortex OP. And then Pilot Die does the uh, standard die to the neutral Dyer's thing. Oh, tower gonna get clipped. Curve up to the deny here. Should be able to get it. Oh, oh. oh no, he gets frozen. Oh, oh it's fine. Oh Dude. no, hit the Freeze tower. Up. No. Oh, he wants to kill. He yeah. actually knows he can't kill because the creep wave's there. It's fine. What a player. <laughs> Meanwhile, mid lane Hovos gets his own back because he doesn't have a bottle. Has been denied. He has a south. Poor this follow crowing TA like player. Dude, the level four dagger is 200 damage. You just spam that. And you can crit on that motherfucker. Oh, 100 on hero, right? Or, yeah, 180, whatever. Same thing. Oh, he's going in. Look at that. <laughs> just casual. big oh. raw. He's just trying to piss the most off because he has backup here. That's what he's doing the last time. I mean, now you're going for Poppy, right? Like, Poppy's a free yeah. kill. Did that oh, they're dying. They're dying for this. Man, easy. See, at least Hobos tried to save his teammates. Oh no, oh, they're training back in. Yeah, Mana yeah. Shield's out. Uh, they have no Starstorm. That's a level 4 Starstorm. He's dead. Oh, Burrow Shark's gonna come in. That's a TP in from Funnick. He's... Oh, well, he's out mana. Okay, they're going in. They're just regreasing straight okay. up under the tier 1. Sunstrike Arena. That's not gonna hit on anything. And yep, he's dead. The sun's gonna go on there. The Burrow Shark goes on Puppy. They wanna regoose again, I think. Follow through. No, he cannot follow through with that. Oh my god. That's another kill. Was that? Four kills on the mid tier 1 tower? <laughs> What's happening right yeah, now? Yeah, both 7s there. They could turn back in. In fact, they will. Ulti. Well, you get off his reincarn, man. That's a long stun. A long cooldown. What is that Burrow range? I wouldn't have killed him, man. I really would not have killed him in tower range. He's fine. Oh. Bottle oh. Yeah, he's he fine. has the root. He's fine. Three seconds. Yeah, the arrow's gonna hit on the backside. Under attack. No! Okay, oh. TP back out. He's oh. fine. What a player. That was really fucking good. Bone Seven killed the Skeleton King, and he's like, I immediately regret my decision. We're so slow. Hey, we slow is ridiculous. Man. Dendy's just been having a giraffe left top lane, though. Yeah, I'm actually a bit surprised he hasn't been the one TPing. Like, Cold Snap is so good against teams who do that. Yeah, especially like, when you nearly have two, like one Forge Spirit and a Cold Snap. Oh, he's got two now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so AI has a 11 minute Maelstrom. Laser load. I think they go for the arrow here, because he's tanking the creep study. Yeah, like that's an arrow. Oh boy. That's an arrow. Oh boy. No, they didn't do it. Just gonna go for the bite. Okay, so oh, that clock actually <laughs> does nothing for you. When that moonlight Dyer's arrow moonlight shadow happened, the two heroes up on the top lane is standing under a, a dire observe ward. Like I know that's a very small thing to point out, but No, it's pretty big, I think. I mean Yeah, it should have been obvious, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, Sage and Burrow and Puppy! Oh, yeah, Puppy's dead, I think. Dying Shout's doing a ton of damage. Plus, oh, the Sage is under attack. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go for it. No, Cold oh. Snap! Dondo! Burrow, Burrow has it! Oh. No! <laughs> His corpse, like, halfway burrowed under the ground and then just gave up. Sunstrike so. on Bone 7! Second Dyer's on Surge. Surge, get on oh, second! No, that's the wrong way! Auto attack! Oh. What a click. They got, a, they got a tier 2 tower on the bottom, though, so... 
What's with today's soda? It's just like mad clowny, right? It's good. Cool, it? I love it. So what does this mid PA have have done for you so far? Well, well he's going battle for your A, I guess, because he got a ring. Didn't he get involved in like a triple kill? Like I, I guess. No, but... that was Aoi. You got the no, triple. No, but he. Envy was there the whole time. No, yeah, he helped get yeah. the. Get That's because Navi wants to fight there, right? Like you can just. Oh, I guess why wouldn't Navi want to fight under the tier one tower, right? Mm, you think that? Holy, holy, oh, here we go. All right, Navi, that wasn't your greatest arrow. Don't burn the eye. Oh, the lightning no. lord! Oh my, he pings. He's like, are you kidding me? That last attack really procked. He's thinking, where's my TPs? Ten minutes ago. Yeah, poor lad. One day, Navi will actually like Habost enough to TP for him. But today is not that day. No, it's not. When he's not a four. Did he get upgraded to the five recently? Yeah, I took it back down. Yeah, it was wasn't, wasn't impressive. The thing is, they're giving him heroes that he can't make plays on. Like, this isn't an Alchemist. Yeah. You know? This is a Medusa. Like... Or even Priestess of the Moon. Too quick for the Weaver. Oh yeah, Weaver. 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 Holy yeah. shit! Balls. A pilot like that might be a little bit trouble up top. No, they actually TP for him though. You see? <laughs> Power of friendship right there. <laughs> Power Even friendship. a stand in fog. He's like, yeah, yep, I got it. it. <laughs> Nearly blink dagger on pilot die as well. Considering he's an arcane boot, it's really how fast. did they D ward that? Like, how do you even find that ward? Uh, I want to see TPs behind the tier one ward. Mm -hmm. Dendi, as soon as that the ward's out, he's out of there. It's like a bow she can't dangerously now. Is he actually gonna. What? Oh, he got him! Oh my oh, god! And the rocket flare! Holy shit! He's gonna die! Yeah! That's a big deal. What a snipe. By the way, Dendi just walked up to Havos and he's like, no, my creep. How? Did, how? How did they know he was there? They just guessed. I guess. It's like, hey man, Sanky's <laughs> missing off the map. He's probably <laughs> farming neutrals. He's only gonna farm a large the game knowledge. Much. Yeah. Yeah. It was really big. Dyer's top tower is Dyer's under attack. Tower is under attack. I think the biggest difference in this game so far is like the offlaners and the supports are essentially making the game. Like in, in terms of the 1v1 matchups, the only reason Havos is behind the PA is because he got ganked like a hundred times. Mm -hmm. So the supports on Cloud9, like having the capability of being able to roam, like even individually, Dyer's if it's just Pilot I, or if it's just Fog, they can still go for kills potentially. Dyer's but if fortified. it's just like one, like puppy roaming, of course, isn't really going to do much. And if it's just the Wraith King, oh, Hero can't do much. He's going for the tower. tower. He's going to get stunned. The Ice Blast, yeah. Sub Strike, everything. Ooh. Tower denied. Dyer's That's a good recovery. Fog walks up. He might eat a secondary stun. One second. Oh, no, go back. Tower is under back to your point, Andy. It's. As much about the the playstyle as, as the hero, right? Like it's much yeah. easier to gank with CM and Sanking. As we see in Moonlight Shadow up top, they want Dendi dead. And he's been farming too much. Leap? Sing Sing? No. People. That's it. He has Rigu's potential. That lightning lord. Also, like it's much easier to gank for a mid lane PA who has a a spammable slow f I, uh, instead I of a Medusa, right? I don't know about that. You always I mean, have Invoker with his own strike and the uh, the stone from Wraith King that sets it up. So I, I think they just Dude, didn't. 50% evasion. Fair call. 50%. But we can't throw just stone. Dude, that's almost like 60%. Uh -oh. That Rigu's oh. Fog's gonna feel this one. Oh no, run out of there, Fog. They won gold seven. Set Ice Blast. That's gonna hit. That's, that's what the gold though. Fog on the back line. The Sun Strike. That's gonna hit as well. That we might be in Leap. Leap. Yeah, leap. Oh, he's gonna oh. get hooked. Pokeroo is on. Dodge. Ooh, ooh. Oh, nice. Okay. That's a streak Dyer's as well. Okay, and Puppy got it too. Okay. So now he's like, yeah, there's my point booster, boys. Radiant's Cash money, baby. Tower is under attack. But in the meantime, they are going to push down mid. So it's not like Cloud9 are just Dyer's taking the deaths. Are they going to push down mid? I think Envy is like waiting for the goose here. Okay, yeah. We goose. Oh my that's god, no. Oh, that's Karoki though. It doesn't really care. <laughs> oh, it's so slow. We're not really walking. The tower is missing. Oh, strike. Oh, crit, crit, crit. No, oh, my god, even need it. Yeah. Look at all these, like, heavy artillery coming down the middle. Oh, oh, no, Stun was fine. a little early. Like, they had a rocket flare in the air as well. Bone 7 in the top lane. No, he can't search. He okay. Oh, well, maybe no. not. Close Where's off deafening? Oh! Just the tip, man. Just the tip. Oh, okay. Okay. Dendi might be no, no. That arrow, Sing Sing would have missed that. <laughs> Sank. Yes. Oh, okay. This is all very close. Mana burn. Mana burn. Oh. 
Okay, you gotta dodge our rocket though. He's so afraid. You gotta dodge ice blast. There's like a lot of stuff. Just stay in he's the tree. Sitting there, man. Stay There's in no the mana, trees. no mana clock, so he's fine. A is not even trying. Or is it? He, that's what he wants you to think. It's like that one uh, clip of the Bloodseeker Invoker team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who lets him get to like Dyer's right outside the base, and he's like, just kidding. Kadugan. So with Envy going Battle Fury, I mean, his damage output's going to be substantially higher, but I actually think that this item could end up hurting him. Because going a, a Battle Fury on PA, you're not going to get any survivability, right? Like, you're not going BKB, you're not going drums, you're just getting a Battle Fury. So I think the hero is meant to be played more during, like, the mid-game than it is. Like, ultra late game, sure, she's a decent six-slotted hero. Gets 50% evasion, pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. But... I don't know if necessarily going this farming oriented Ooh. style against the Medusa team is necessarily the best choice. Yeah, and obviously BKB doesn't help you against Stone Gaze, so. Yeah, I mean, I understand why he's not making a BKB. I'm just saying that you're making an item that's going to make you very susceptible to just getting exploded for a very long time. I mean, even just Dyer's a Hellfire Blast and a Sunstrike almost kills him. Yeah. Okay, let me, let's look at it in a different way. Is it actually okay if your PA dies? Let's if he jumps here. in and takes all the focus? You still have the necessary damage to kind of follow through, right? With the epicenter, he comes in. with the vacuum, yeah, and you know, Ali on his uh, Mirana. He was farmed for shit. So, obviously, you don't want your one row core to die, but. No, Ellie's the one. Top yeah, yeah. Is so, is it actually okay for a two row to blink in and soak damage? I guess if you do that, you yes. won't get a Battle Fury, right? Yeah, but uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he wanted to be focused, he wouldn't go Battle Fury. Well. Navi just killed Roche with the Necro 3. Yeah, yeah. Kuro's up Dyer's here. Courier's gonna get sniped killed. as well. Oh. Kuro's got no ulti. He's in panic mode. He's like, team, please? Here comes one TP. It's gonna be Debbie. Rest of Navi's making their way up here right now. Ice Blast gonna miss. What do you think of this? Wow, Hubby's not going eggs. He's going back. What a team player. Oh, he just loves everyone. We would have him more does. of a team He's player making it up to earlier. for the early game. He's like, you know what? I didn't TP for you, but I'll buy a mech. So I won't TP and mech you. I don't really like Angel Apparition mech, to be honest. I think you need to be like far away to get the Ice Blast. Yeah, I agree. And Arrow, I not gonna hit. There's a, there's a blast, though. Okay, you they, they, not can, they cannot come in through that Ice Wall. Yeah, they need to back out. And they will. Yeah, I think you need the eggs. Like, don't stay far away. Like, yeah, but Funek's never gonna get a mech. That's the thing. Like, they don't have anybody else besides him and Funek who can make the mech and nobody else has the money. Like, you're not gonna make your Wraith King get a mech. I don't know. He doesn't have the mana, man. You don't, you don't cost 75 mana. Nah, he doesn't have the mana. Skeletons are stupid. He's not skeleton anymore, he has a cross on top. One seven. Surgery! Oh, oh, he's so in trouble. Wait, Wait no sunstrike? Oh, cool he's down fine. Down he's cool down okay, he has cooldown on the Okay, he's not fine. He's lost by him. He's definitely oh, not back he's so away. Away. Let it go! So greedy. Okay, he's so tower oh, under attack. They got the Aegis. Yeah. I don't think giving it the Aegis was. He could have just sent the creeps in there, man. He didn't have to commit that hard. Gotta go hard. Okay. Hey, yeah, just... Oh, he wasted his leap, but he doesn't. Uh... He mid lane here. It looks like the Darude is here, and they're gonna go on the pulse. Where's the bounce? Here comes he. Okay. Run around. Run next to him. Don't turn around. Don't look in the eyes. Okay. Right, he's got a haste. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, man, man. man. They could get more if they want. Okay, no chasing Superman. at the door. Boss is like, why didn't I get the agents? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, deadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they pick Havos Dusa when then just give him no help. They I just think, throw him to the wolves, man. No, I think that's the idea. They go, they go get mana shield and stats. Yeah, it, it's no like the tankiest hero if you go mana shield stats, I, I like just no help. Yeah. But what is that Dyer's given them? Top like, what, what is it? Okay, but Dyer's let's say for the sake of argument that it's the same mentality. Like, like, oh, what? Like, anyway, miss. okay. You were talking about how maybe like Envy wanted to be focused. Like clearly, we decided that that wasn't the case. Right. But if that was what they wanted Havos to play Medusa for, what did they get out of him getting ganked a million times mid? So you then you could do damage. Then the MVP, space. man. Yeah, look. Yeah, but it's like reverse you, space creation. And it's space you get your ice top tower is You're under dying. attack. Is under attack. Your tower dies. It's fine. You voted towers. <laughs> yeah, you have, okay, you have other towers. I can't actually, uh, I can't dispute that. Does Ewi get a BKB? I think he's fine, actually. 
Sure. I think if you want survivability and maybe a life steal would do just fine. Manta's still good as well. Yeah. Against Medusa, he just died. I don't want to hit five targets. No, the stone gaze instantly kills. Oh, you're talking about the ulti, yeah. I don't know. I still think Manta is nice for split pushing. Like when you already have a meal there, you can just like Manta oh, push the wave. Again, it's also the mobility, as Andy pointed out earlier. Get the Asha. You can go S and Y. Yeah, I actually like S and Y here. Yeah, I, I think Manta still has a waste because it just it does just die. Well, I mean, you could just wait for him to ult and then and then do your thing. Yeah, I is think he, he actually has to ult early in fights, especially if Envy like blinks on him. It's like panic. I have to ult now. When um, then he gets a few more levels on Wex, and he starts doing the split shot with Alacrity, it'll do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a good thing to bring up actually, because we haven't really talked much about it. Yeah. And uh, the way that he's building, because he has a lot of attack speed, like he has drums, treads, Yasha, is that the Xor like plus damage attack. will be much more beneficial for him. Yeah. Because he already has so much attack speed. Look at them arrows, man. Just imagine if he actually had... Well, I mean, he's still really far considering how crappy of a game he's had. Like, being the fourth highest on net worth yeah. when you've died that many times. What a guy, man. Maybe that's why they put him in bad yeah, positions. Yeah, they drove him to the bus and he just kind of crawled his just, way out. He's clawed his way up, man. One Dendi mid right now. You see Polly down the right side. I don't know. The Blink Dagger hasn't actually found him too many kills. He's just aware. Phonix sniffing about the place. Does the robot sniff? Yeah, it does, yeah. The sniffing bot. Okay, that's fair. I didn't actually know. I'm not an engineer. The iRobot movie? <laughs> Never seen that? That movie was so terrible. So bad. It is awful. Will Smith, he's not great at the movies. He's kind of gone downhill since <laughs> the late 90s. <laughs> what was that? The cowboy movie? That was so middle oh, wow, wow, wow. Well, I don't even know how I know that. Like, <laughs> the... I only know the bad movies. It was him and Owen Wilson, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It was oh. so, and they were like so. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It's like, man, you, you should have just stopped after Independence Day. Just that don't was make that any was a yeah. Damage. All right, back back on point, boys. We're getting, we're getting sidetracked, which is okay sometimes. There's oh. not really a whole lot going on right now. It's it's more or less just a lot of farming. But oh, hook shot oh. off the mark. Pilo what that. a blink. It's like I felt that one coming. I sniffed that one. He felt it in his tail, man. Okay, oh, now oh, he's gonna die. Sandstorm. Oh, God, one gank, tank the other. Cool. He can't get away. Oh, no. He's got a ult on him. Unless someone pipes him in the well. Buy cloaks. Yep, he's buying oh, cloaks. No, he's oh. that. Well, now you have a cloak. Not too bad, right? Buy more cloaks. <laughs> Well, see, now the problem is he can't sell it because he's dead, so <laughs> yeah, now he's yeah, stuck yeah. with the item. Yeah, yeah, now you have a cloak, it's all good. good. item. 15% spell resistance. Yeah, but he was making a BKB. Shh. Don't worry about it. You'll just have it as a casual cloak till you get your BKB. Maybe it's a halberd, actually. I don't know, man. Gets no. Medusa, it's pretty good. Medusa right, so, so PA's got 4k. Uh, you guys are, attack. you know, kind of debating about BKB has... The recent 15 minute change your opinion? Well, she just got one. Okay, so well, that changes my yeah, opinion. Right. Okay, so he is going to go BKB. I think the reason why he actually opted not to go BKB first is because a first item Radiant's BKB PA tower. does nothing. Well, we saw that on PyCat the other yeah, day. It's just yeah, like it's, it's so low damage because yeah. by the time you actually get a second and third item on top of your BKB, your BKB is at four seconds. Then you have like no damage uptime because your BKB doesn't last long enough for you to kill anybody unless you are R and Jesus. So, it makes sense to not rush the BKB first in that sense. Oh, oh. oh the combo. Where's the BKB there? Oh, All right, he'll, he'll walk it. it off. It's a Riku. He wants Rigus. to go. Oh, never mind. So, I would have went. Mm, that's when you like blink in, get like three crits right in a row, and then there's like a Reddit post PA so legit, lol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's going to be a pulse regardless of whether PA or Medusa wins because they're both bad carries. Medusa's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I think Medusa is more usable than PA. Yeah, definitely. I mean, clearly PA is being used, but I'm just saying, like, in terms of how hard it is to actually run the Radiant hero. Radiant structures are fortified. It took fortified. three people out of, like, what, four or five minutes in? Bottom tower like, 20, under 20 minutes to kill. Yeah. Then. Oh, the rude top. Here comes another all-in on Hobo. I'm getting everything, guys. Can the man get Mother one TP? Uh, he's gonna get one, but unfortunately, it oh, oh, it's oh, it's so close. Curl. Okay. No, he's gonna get it. Yeah, turn around. Oh, like, oh, forward, wait. man up. 
Man up, you got ult. He's gonna man up. Wait, no, why would you send a guy without a ult? Oh. Okay, now they're gonna kill him again, right? Yeah. No, nah, he's fine. He, they have our one stand. Yeah, he killed uh, Puppy as well in the woods. I guess. Where did they go? I don't know. I mean, Maybe they thought there was gonna be more. Yeah, I'm probably lady here. It's probably miscommunication, to be honest. Like. Oh, funny. They don't have Iron anymore, though. Nope. He's out of it. Oh, oh, what a hook. Got him thorough. No, he doesn't. He's dead. No, he threw it already. Okay, yeah, Blink, attack it together. What? what a friend. Okay, but never mind. They don't get what the a friend indeed. Get out of there, man. <laughs> Ride together, die together. I mean, that, that's the only reason you blink in there, right? Yeah, yeah, and course, you make yeah. the wall so you get one more unit. I, I like that, like Cloud9, they just think of all these like small things, like buying a cloak in the well. Uh, Who does that? Okay. Wow, wow, West was Kevin Klein, not Owen Wilson. Thank you, Kalen. I read it. Oh, is it, is it Owen and, and, and Jackie yeah. Chan that makes it? It's been a long time, okay? And that was Shining Noon movies, movies actually Klein. not bad. And has Kevin Klein. Yeah, he's been in stuff. Never mind. I actually know movies he's been in. I was going to say, has he been in anything since then? And I was like, yep, yep, he has. What has he been in? No more words, Shane. You don't know. Just Dota. No, I know he's been in stuff. I just can't remember the names of the movies. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. So pipe done now on uh, Fox. on Hexstone on uh, Sandy, which is yeah, huge. pretty big. Yeah. I think he goes Ags next, probably. Blink Dagger, I think. So you think after this to yeah. blink Hex? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's actually really legit as well. Okay, in terms of the way that Envy's playing this PA, like, why are we watching a PA instead of another carry? That perhaps has better laning potential. And because BKB on a hero who has 50% evasion is much better than a BKB is on a lot of heroes. For Very the nice. same reason that... Oh. All right. Oh, here comes that. kind of ninja out of that one there. I don't think he even knew. He just he, like... He just dodged yeah. the bullet. Yeah, and by exactly. bullet, I mean like train. Oh. Because that would have been just choo, jumping in front of a freighter, man. Wouldn't have been great. But yeah, back to the, the PA thing. It's like the hero has the potential for some of the highest damage output of any carry, right? The highest. Especially when you get 16, mm -hmm. right? because your coup de gras does the maximum amount of DPS. So the same reason you see like so many carries like SF go BKB Radiance and then Butterfly, or Gyro goes BKB attack. Butterfly is because they already do so much damage. Yeah, they're not same thing from EA. Oh, Havul. Okay, I don't know if they want to get in there. It's everything is coming from Navi. Havul's is tanking it off. And MD, is he activating the BKB? He is. Okay. There's a wall on top of that. He just kills everything. On the back line, Kuroki's low. Dendi needs to be no, focused. Look at that coup de gras. It just almost cleaved puppy. But here comes the Hex. Four sap away from MD. He could just blink back the in if he wants to do so. Okay, Dendi's just solo out DPSing them right now. Yeah. The Necrovolk, man, I'm telling you. So, oh, MVP. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. He clenched a bit when he did that, I'd say. He wanted some gold. If Kuro didn't blink away there, I think they actually get like three kills. Like, Kuro thought that they couldn't fight, but they still had two Forged Spirits and the Necro book out, and the BKBs were all down. There was no Epi. I think it was uh, a little bit of an unfortunate call by him to actually back up there, because he blinked up to the high ground, right? Like, he didn't yeah. blink forward to chase. I think they're really. Little scare around. Okay. Well, that's going to scout. It's going to hit Roshan. It's going to help, yeah. Oh, there's a double damage rune top, and Envy's checking it. No, he's not, he's not. He's yeah, he's yeah, he's checking it, man. Oh, he knows. I thought you said Owie. Envy's checking it's okay. it. okay. That's the rune of death. All right, now you go into the pit and just kill everything. Does he have to make it? hurry, time? man. Oh, God, they're not killing it fast enough. They need to get out. Panic station, boys. Well, there's a ward there. They see it. No, Kuro got arrowed. Okay. Yep. Don't get it wrong, You can do it, Denny. Oh, the okay, what the heck? Okay, BKB, DD. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. Dang, he's just dying. He's gonna just get the edges from the TV. Yeah. 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 Kuroki just hanging there. Kuroki's trying to pick it up. He's gonna be dead. Oh, okay, now he blinks on the high ground. Puffy's gonna be dead as well. Oh, my god, he's crit. Here comes the yeah. runaway ult. Why is Funny? Funny, get it back in. The rune of death. Okay. So the rune didn't do anything because he BKB'd off his DD. Yeah, but it's the rune of death. Away. It yeah. it didn't, it, he didn't even hit anybody with it. He's a he activated the DD and then BKB'd. Wait, so he it did it wrong? His middle tower yeah, he did it wrong. I think he got one crit. No, he crit for 700. That's not a DD crit when you have a Basher and a Battle Fury in level 16. Oh, Envy, please. How he wouldn't Dyer's make that mistake. He gave him the confidence to go in. He messed it up and it didn't matter because Dyer's he's crit every single person that he hit. Here comes the Reddit post, boys. Yeah, it's super Dyer's awesome here. Are fortified. Are fortified. Well, no, I, I have to say, the way they ran it actually worked really well. Because it was a lane that Envy actually couldn't lose because it was a Medusa. And yeah. they ganked the Medusa. Well, here's the thing, though. Why didn't they send the Volker mate? Exactly. Why didn't they? I don't get it. 
Well, I think because of the way that Dendi was building, they kind of favored him having like the earlier Necro book. Okay. Because I think the Necro book it makes a much bigger impact than Havos maybe having like a Lincoln's or something like that. Because realistically, that's what he farms, right? Like if you get free farm, you go like Manta or Lincoln's or something like that. Yeah. Maybe he still goes Trumps, but either way, it would have taken a lot longer for Havos to become relevant in terms of farm than it does for Dendi. So Dendi having the item sooner makes it so Cloud9's lineup can't just run them over at like okay. 20 minutes. Yeah, there's also the thing that uh, Medusa is much harder to gank yeah, if you had TPs. Yeah, TPs are a good item. Yeah. I feel like maybe a little bit underused. In some games, in certain teams. Holy oh, envy. envy. Okay. That damage. But that's not an Ag's ulti, so. The Clockwork Rocket. Nice, fine. He's got a bottle. And he's just. Oh. It's getting to that point, though, where PA is no longer the, the carry who goes in and instantly dies. Now he it's... needs 200 gold, and I'm pretty sure he one shots. Yeah, he can go on pretty much anyone. Yeah. It's filthy. He also, once he goes in, uh, there's a good chance where he bashes the Dusa. I assume they're going on Dusa. And then he can't ulti? Yeah, can't ult. Yeah. And this will blade him in, like, oh, 60 gold. All about the RNG, man. Parade to RNG, Jesus. Cruel mistress. It really is, man. Some games you have it, and some games you don't. This game, he has it. Didn't he get like three or four crits in a row in the Russian fight? Like was... Well, he well, crit every person he attacked. That's yeah. the thing. The thing is, yeah, well, he's been alive for such a long time. Like, you, you are gonna get crits when you have Phantom Strike, because it increases your movement speed, or attack speed, excuse me. Yeah, but sometimes you just have those, like, you hit four or five times, you don't actually get a crit. And the crits he got were like on three people with the cleave as well. They were like yeah. really well positioned. So Cloud9 looking to be in a really solid position here. Does the Scotty even save with an Onavost if he can get a Scotty? Probably not. It doesn't do on. So. The problem that they're going to have right now is that there's no MKB for the PA. Mm -hmm. And if the BKB is on, I mean, MB more or less can't be killed right now. They have a Hex on them, Volker, on them. Yes, yeah, but I mean, they, they, he can't die because he has an Aegis. Like, they actually can't kill him. Yeah, okay. So if they kill him the first time, then he comes back with BKB. You assume he probably uses Abyssal, like, the first time around, right? Mm -hmm. To try to do damage, so... I think this is a time where uh, Cloud9 could just potentially go for the last tier 2. I don't know if they can go high ground necessarily, because their team is actually pretty the poor at it. Flies. Like, their, their heroes don't they go need to get a pick, well. I think. Yeah, they've been looking for these picks. Unfortunately, the Moonlight Shadow has been used under wards. Oh. What did I? Okay, see that. Okay, oh, that's geez. a little bit aggressive. Get out of there. Oh, BKB. what a BKB. And here comes a vacuum oh. wall. Where's the PM middle? Because he's right here on BKB. He's using it. Oh, okay. They, what did they kill? Oh, like nothing. Okay, he just killed Kuroki. Hey man, value, value CS. Here comes the stun on Envy. BKP's down. It's a buyback from Dendi. They want to try to turn this. Envy's actually stuck inside of the cogs. Oh, He's going to blink out. away though to Dyer's safety. Middle tower. The meatball, it does attack. nothing. And Havos dies as well, man. Yep. Oh, right, that's dead. Bye, Funnic. They're going to find Kuro as well. That is reincarnation down. Long 7 going to be forced out. Oh, Bob now just getting attacked by like a cold creep wave. And minions as well. Oh, Envy, God. though. He's below. the current lord. Envy's huh? Envy is losing all his mana. Turn back Envy. Dyer's nice. Middle Bye. Tower oh, Dyer's tornado. Middle tower has uh, fallen. I can't finish him. Yeah. Didn't even lose the Aegis. Yeah. Not so I know why now he's played PA so much. It finally makes sense. He's orange Jesus. The more you play PA, the more crits you get. Think about it. I, I like every time I see a PA in competitive play, I'm like, if I had this crit rate, I'd play this hero every. He year. also gets double runes on the same spot. Like, it's cool too. He's got an illusion haste. He also has like three giggles. Oh my god. Yeah, but like the more you play on on PA, the more you believe the hero, and thus you get the crit. All you gotta do is believe, man. Yeah. That's it. There you go. What is one on hopes oh and dreams? That's the boy back. And there's another crit. Oh, no, like, he attacked him like six times. Of course okay, you're gonna get Okay, he attacked Funic twice and crit him on the second hit. It's filthy. PRD. You know it happens. It's it not PRD? supposed to happen with PRD. That's the whole point of PRD. No, it no it's just, I don't think it's PRD it for it Big Rye, right? Yeah, it's just... It is, there's like a lesser Thank chance you. that you will get that many yeah. crits in succession. Look at the... Oh, uh, don't, like... Oh, just... He can go ham. He Dyer's has an Aegis. Like, what are they gonna do? Attack. They don't have Dendi. He bought Dyer's out. Havos doesn't really fortified. do any damage, because he had to go all defensive items this game. I think this was an ideal situation for PA pick, though. Game's never Dyer's over when you have Medusa. Let me know about this. I don't know, man. I feel like Cloud9 are gonna win this one.
I'm no math guy, but... The next, like, three fights, he won't get any crits at all. Even if he doesn't, he still hits for 300 damage. Yeah, and he has, a uh, Just to go, just go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, they're trying to burst him down. Oh, the SPG's not getting any crits right now. But it don't matter. Still hits for 300. Yep. Yeah. Pi, a little bit trouble. Pi gets critted, so he's dead. Is it gem? I'm not sure if I like that dive. I was just like, no, I'm not towers. walking through that wall. Dyer's <laughs> top tower is under attack. Hey, come on, he's cool. gonna go for the Shit. other objectives. So what do you think Envy's gonna go for now? Are we talking about... Uh, I think he just goes full damage, like okay. MVP or something. Top tower has fallen. He could go lifesteal if he wanted to. I don't think Butterfly works well. I mean, invasion stacks, yes. It does give you more evasion. Yeah, it does, yeah. Do you need I don't know invasion? exactly what the percent is, but... You just buy, like, two butterflies and just sit in the, in no, the well? No, I think one stacks pretty well with Blur. I don't know. We'll have to ask Bruno. I'm sure he knows. I mean, I do know. It doesn't stack well. It, like, you get to, I want to guess, 60-ish percent? Pretty fucking good. From 50 to 60, you want to send 6k? You get attack speed and damage. It's true. Which, none of these things are... Look, if Shane was trying to sell me a car, I would have bought it already. I'm just saying. And damage. <laughs> Okay, I can't. So what is the choice gonna be? I still think, um... Well, Satanic's not bad. Sa no, Satanic's definitely not bad. Like, yeah. uh, I think it might be overkill, though. Because I don't think he's gonna die anyway, anymore. I mean, look at Medusa's items, right? Yeah. He went nothing but defensive items, no MKB, no damage items at all. They're relying solely on Dendi for the damage output at this point, and A-ult, I guess. Oh, does he have the, the snowball throwing device? I can't click on that career. Yeah, he does, yeah. Okay, so he has a Scotty. But is it... Actually, does he have the full Scotty? Yeah, he does. He needs, yeah. like, an Orb yeah. of Venom. He needs the Orb of Venom, okay. I'm sure so he, he has it now. Yeah. Which is actually good against most melee carries, except the one that could blink around. Yeah. And the one that you're not going to hit half the time, because you don't have an MKB. It's all irrelevant. Unless you turn him into a pig. I don't know. Again, even if Envy dies, what, the rest of the team has so what, much damage. Why does Kuro have like 3.2k gold? Alright, it's MKP. Is Kuro saving for... I don't know. Basher? Maybe he Relic? gets a Hex too? I think AC is what he should I think they need hit. another Hex, to be honest. Hex? Radiance top yeah. tower Radiance is under attack. Well, because AC would reduce a lot of damage from PF. Not a lot, but... It would reduce damage, but he could just as easily go Vlad's if he's really worried about having the plus 5 armor to his team. Okay. I mean, it's still pretty legit at this stage in the game. Mm -hmm. I think Evos goes Raper now. Uh, you gotta go big or go home, man. He could go Raper. I think MKB might actually still be sufficient. If you're attacking, like, say, a creep, and you're using split shot, does the, you still have the same chance to miss an oh, The truck, the train is coming, they see uh, Puppy. He's good. Yeah, Puppy, dead. Wow. Uh, there's a blink in from Pop, but Kuroki. Um, Where's the rest of the team? Kuro? Yeah, Envy says, all right, I'll just hit this. And good night. That hurts. Go back out. Hero oh, oh, that's going to hit. Bro, oh, Shrike. Where's the blink vacuum? Nothing on chest yet. Here comes the bash. They're going to go on right. These are, she's so tanky. She's going to match up with the vacuum back in and the epicenter. <laughs> and a cleanup crew. Envy's going to just... Uh oh Snake <laughs> away. Snake away. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he just got, like... Oh, <laughs> dirty. Oh boy. It's a lightning chicken. Oh, oh god. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, tower is under attack. Okay, so. We got to see a couple of things that we don't normally get to see. Which is great. Radiant yeah. Victory. I'm happy to see new heroes, so it's good. Yeah. Let's talk about the PA and why it did work. Okay. Under normal circumstances, a team has at least a carry who has some kind of fighting potential during the early game. This Medusa actually built to be a creep. Like, okay. mana shield, stats, ult at six, and then nothing else. I think if